Hi everybody, I just wanted to introduce you to my new control center for scale speed gaming. <laughs> I've actually done a little bit of tidy up here in the uh, PC room and uh, I just wanted to kind of kind of share it with you. So obviously the big news over the last week is that I've got this baby here, my Lenovo T5 uh, gaming PC uh, with a uh, GTX, sorry, RTX 3080, I think it is, and a Ryzen processor. Couldn't tell you which one it was. I, I, I'm, I, I don't know that much about PCs, but I know it seems to be pretty good. So, what does all this mean? What does all this mean? So, as you can see, I've got my, um, there's the PlayStation 4. There's the Xbox Series S. There's my old laptop. Now, this old laptop, this is an old Acer Aspire, has done me proud over the last eight years, I think it is now. Um, fantastic PC, um, couldn't play games when it was new, can't play games now, but all of the PC, um, well, sorry, most of the, the, the PC videos I've done on the channel have been done using the Acer Aspire and a Shadow Cloud gaming PC, um, which is, which is, it's quite an onerous task to do that stuff because it comes to the audio, when it comes to doing the audio, um, but, but I'll talk about that in a second. Um, and then we've got my gaming monitor which i got i think last year didn't i to go with the xbox series s the 1440p 27 inch 144 hertz one there we have my new um hyperx keyboard there's my old um steel series mouse and then i've got my usb mic so why 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 you're probably saying i kind of did a little video about this um a few days ago so the, the problem with my previous setup which was basically the old laptop with cloud uh, with a cloud gaming PC and Xbox Series S and accessing PC games through the cloud was that it was very complicated to make content for YouTube when it came to sort of PC stuff especially um, because I'd have to record the gameplay on the Shadow Cloud gaming PC and the audio separately and then bring them together in post-processing um, and then upload them to, to YouTube that way um, and that also meant that I couldn't use proximity chat or any sort of live chat on the PC games either because because I don't have a very good internet connection here is if I connected the USB mic to the laptop and that uploaded it to the uh, Shadow Cloud gaming PC it would get all crackly and horrible. You may well have seen some of my early PC days e videos where I attempted to do it and, and it wasn't a good solution. So now obviously with the GTX, with the... Uh, with the Lenovo um, gaming rig, I can now play PC games um, and use proximity chat. I can use my um, USB mic for, for my mic. Um, I can plug my uh, HyperX uh, uh, headset into my Xbox controller using a USB, so I can use that mic. Um, there's lots of different options where I can do one and done videos. And if you ever watch my channel, <laughs> And you go, hmm, the production value isn't that great on your videos, Rob. And that would be true. My favourite way of doing videos is to kind of think about the idea, maybe making a few notes, um, and then just hitting record and basically doing a screencast and talking about what I'm doing. Because, you know, I work full time. I don't have that much time to do all this stuff. But the fact that I'll, I'll be able to do this now um, using uh, this rig means that I'll be able to, for example, say I wanted to do a quick daisy tutorial on uh on pc daisy you know how to I don't know, how to make the improvised explosive device something like that it means i can do a one and done i can just hit record on the uh, on the pc using the geforce experience app and the geforce experience app will record the audio and the gameplay all in one and then i can just upload it to youtube and it's all done there's no editing involved at all um which means that the production quality isn't that great but it means it's fast so i can get these ideas out there um to to everybody the other side of it as well is that when i'm recording gameplay for my xbox series s unfortunately the xbox at the moment um you can't record audio and gameplay at the same time onto onto so that's my little capture ssd there you can't record them at the same time so the problem with that is that then i have to again i would have to sort of play on the xbox series s record the audio on my laptop at the same time take the uh, gameplay video into the laptop take the audio into the laptop and then sync them up in post-processing 
um, and then render them. And the problem is, as great as this old laptop is, and it's done me proud, it's not very fast at rendering 1080p 60 frames a second video. Now, uh, if I was to do like a seven minute video on the Xbox Series S, that would then take, well, it, it, it would take 45 minutes to an hour to render. Um, and while this laptop's doing that, it can't do anything else. <laughs> you know, it's getting hotter and hotter as it's, as it's trying to render it. But with the Lenovo, no problem at all. Um, if I need to do that, I can just record the audio you know, on there, take... Um, the uh, the capture card from the Xbox Series S, sorry, the, uh, uh, the 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 drive from the Xbox Series S, plug it in, or I do actually have, I do have a 1080p 60 frames a second USB 3 capture card that I've had for probably five or six years that I've never had, never been able to use, because this PC only has USB USB 2, where this has USB 3, so um, I, that's something I may well explore because then. If I can do one and done videos from the Xbox, then that would speed things up um, even even faster. Um, so so there there we go. Let's uh, let's just, um, bring this back to life. There we go. Um, so n initial impressions, I guess. Well, I mean, yeah, absolutely amazing. So with the GTX thirty seventy and DayZ. Um, being able to bang, you know, play Daisy at like 140 frames a second at, at ultra settings, uh, very impressive. Even armor runs really fast as well. Um, I may well whack down the resolution, whack down the FPS a little bit. Actually, I might do it at 120. The thing that I'm not quite sure about is that when I'm using GeForce Experience to record gameplay, it only it will record it at the resolution of the screen, so 1440p, but it only records at 60 frames a second. So I'm thinking maybe I'm better off setting the uh, frequency of the screen to 60 frames a second so that maybe the, the the gameplay might record a little bit smoother. We might have to have a play around with that. Um, but I'm really looking forward to um, using this setup really to, to, to create more content, uh, more useful content. Um, again, across a wider range of things, because we're you know we're going to be concentrating on Xbox, we've got PlayStation, and it's much much easier for me to do uh, PC stuff as well uh, on this on the on, on this kind of setup. Um, and hopefully, with the help of everybody out there, and I can't I can't thank you enough for the amazing help you've given already. You know we can get the channel to you know fifty thousand subscribers within the next six months, and then who knows after that? Let's uh, let's see what happens but there we go this is the new control center for scale speed of gaming thank you to everybody who supported the channel over the last several years um who've watched videos liked videos commented to videos um and uh, let's see where we can go from here thank you very much and i will see you all again soon